So let's talk about the third receiver who's on the roster currently. Trent Taylor at 217 just seems like it's screaming value to me out of all of these guys. He's a guy that I'm interested probably most in because he's just so super cheap and he's just I just a f- ridiculous slot player and could be everything that you know will go slot small white guy here and go Trent Taylor or uh, Wes Welker Julian Edelman kind of Patriots. You want to uh, know you want to know what his game log looks like? It looks almost like Cooper Cup's game log. It really really does. He. They had a lot less to work with to get to start. I mean, that. all right, we're talking about Jared Goff here. This is a tough, which, gritty guy right here. We're talking about the fact that the Rams had much Jared Goff. Cooper Cup. Scrap. And how much better now Jared Goff looks than anything the Niners put under center last year until they got Jimmy G. But just let's keep it all in perspective. Jared Goff in the offense, they averaged 30 points a game. My man was starting out with Brian Hoyer and C.J. Bethard, and he had Garcon. And had some players in, in out there running around with him, but is he 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 he's a professional wide receiver. Uh, the, seriously, I you nobody I guarantee you nobody out there was is on the Trent Taylor bandwagon like we were. Yeah, like Casey was when he was out there scoping out Henderson, D'Angelo, uh, what Carlos. Carlos Carlos Henderson for Texas Tech, La Tech, La Tech. I'll get it right in a minute. <laughs> But he's like, this boy Trent Taylor is all over the screen and he keeps popping and I can't get him off the screen. He's to not, he will not be denied. Nah. He will not be denied. Trent Taylor, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he's got a great feel for the position. He always That's, finds. There it is in a nutshell. Yeah. He has a fit. That, uh, I mean, I'll let you go on, yeah. but uh, that is the quintessential. Like, he has a phenomenal feel for the position. He's super quick, and you, he's it, really hard to tackle for being as small as he is. Oh, yeah. I mean, the run after the catch ability is awesome. He always finds a crease or a soft spot in the zone. He can make the play along the sideline and toe, tach, toe tap while extending his body and making a catch outside of his frame. The body control is awesome. He's got awesome hands. He's scrappy, like we just said. Like I could go on forever, baby. <laughs> what, what, sure. what was that? That's a little Home Alone. Little home. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually where, not. What part? Of, where did that come from? In Home Alone? Well, he's. Well, it's actually not Home Alone. He's watching the he's movie, watching the, uh, uh, the filthier angels, or something. Angels of a filthier time, or something like that. Yeah. And uh, it's the it's the mob guy. And yeah. He's like, You've been smooching with everybody. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Little Mo with a Curly, gibby leg. M- little Mo, I could go on forever, baby. I got it. Little Mo with a gibby <laughs> leg. Yeah. That's a good. I got you now. I'm I'm in the right spot. I got you. So I mean, unless unless just Jarvis Landry shows up at the front door, which doesn't make any like. Listen, I I, I get it a little bit but like Trent Taylor is costing you nothing and yeah. he can get the job done. Yeah, he is basically but even if, Jarvis Landry. Even if Jarvis Landry did show up, I think I'd still be down putting Trent on my team. Like, I mean they got Jimmy G, Mr. Special Awkward Delivery, Mr. Never Take a Sack, Accurate as Handsome as Hell. Here's the best they part go about four wide. I don't the, know. Here's the best part about Trent Taylor. I put him in as a kicker in a trade the other day. I offered Trent Taylor. I don't want to get rid of him, but I got him on every single one of my dynasty teams. Again, and another FFPC team where you have to cut. You got to cut down to sixteen. I got I got a couple of teams that are just so deep. I don't know what to do with myself. So I'm sending out these trade offers and and Humble Trent brag. Taylor, Trent Humble brag. <laughs> Trent Taylor is part of my trade offer, and the dude hits me back and says, "I don't even know who Trent Taylor is." And I'm like, "This dude's pay playing for two hundred and fifty dollars in wow. Dynasty League, and he doesn't even know who Trent Taylor is." And I'm just like, "All right, well, I got to rearrange some." Might stuff have been a my- wise ass remark, but maybe you know. But I'm saying like. If you don't know who Trent Taylor is right now, you need to figure it out quick, and you need to figure out a way to get him on your team. If I'm in those kind of leagues where I have to cut down. If you're paying $250 for the Dynasty League you're in, maybe you know who the uh, Trent Taylor is. I mean, he might have. That might have been just him. Might have been a little snarky. Being old Weisenheimer. Yeah, might have been a little snarky, but I don't even know who that is. I mean, I'll give you. But here's the thing. A right third now, rounder all day exactly. long for Trent Taylor. Right now, <laughs> today, obviously at two sixteen eighty p, Trent Taylor is not carrying any weight in a trade unless they're they're a forty nine er fan. But I guarantee you, by the fourth or fifth week in the season, everybody in your league is going to know who Trent Taylor is. I guarantee it. Guaranteed, you're going to be mad those first couple of weeks where you're playing against Trent Taylor, and you're like, "Damn it, what the hell just happened? Who I, even is this guy?" Some dude sent me a trade offer for him in February, and I didn't take it. He's crushing me. Dang it. All right, well. We're going to take a break here, but we're going to come back with one of the 49ers rivals, (laughs) Seattle Seahawks, and we're going to talk a little bit of value right there.